Greetings comrades. I'm here with the second review of the book for the Reading Children's Literature Month for the month of November um, that I believe was started by Words of a Reader. You can check out her channel or check out uh, Read Kids Lit, I think, or hashtag Read Kids Lit. I'm not sure which. And you should be able to find them here on YouTube. So the review I'm going to do today is this Escape from Mr. Limoncello's Library. It might be Limoncello, I'm not sure, but I've always said Limoncello to myself, so that's what I'll use. Um, this came out a few years ago. It was pretty popular. I wanted to read it at the time, but um, just never got around to it. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to do so here on the Children's Reading Lit Month, uh, or Read Kids Lit Month. Anyway. Um, this is a book about a young boy who's really into games. Okay, he's not so much into reading, but he's really into games. And there's this really uh, kind of eccentric, very wealthy man who um, has cr been creating games for like his whole life. So he's got all these games, and the kid grew up playing them, his family grew up playing them, and he's from this town. Well, um, they haven't had a library in the town for, uh, for a long time, so uh, he built one, and it's a very unique kind of library. It's got, you know, holographic projections and, and uh, um, you know, the cold computer stuff and, of course, lots of books and and all that. The library was actually torn down um, that was there before, so this library has put uh, has been put into what was uh, formerly a bank. So it's pretty impenetrable. So for the grand opening, uh, some kids get invited to go. Uh, if they win an essay contest, they get to invited to go and see the library, be the first ones there. And then they get offered a chance to have a little extra fun uh, to have a game. And because it was a bank, uh, it's a very secure building, their challenge is that they have to find a way out of the library. Now, they can't use the front door where they came in, and they can't use the fire escapes. Those are the two rules. And there are clues uh, hidden uh, throughout the library, and there are more than one set of clues. And there are a couple of groups that end up kind of getting together. Everybody's on their own at first, and they get together, and they um, try to uh, uh, figure out the clues and find a way out of the bank. So mostly this book, it's well written and it's fun to read. Um, it's it's more about gaming or, or about playing games than it is about books. Although the value of books and reading does come into play uh, in the book, but most of it is about the game and the clues and them tracking down the clues and trying to figure out what the clues mean. So. Um, yeah, it was. There's not a whole lot of a story here. It's mostly the game that they're playing. Um, it does mention one of my favorite children's books that I read years ago, The Westing Game, which makes me want to go back and read that again because I really liked it. Um, but anyway, that's what this book is mostly about. It's their challenge on how to get out of the library, and whoever wins gets fabulous prizes, of course. So uh, it's pretty well done. I recommend it. It is by Chris. Gravenstein, Gravenstein, I'm not sure which way he pronounces that, or she. Um, so anyway, you can check it out. I'm sure there's lots of reviews and everything because it's been out a few years, but that was the next book I read. And check out the um, Read Kids Lit um, uh, group reading that's going on for children's literature for the month of November. November. Bah. Okay, I guess it's time to stop now. Uh, thanks for checking in. Happy trails. Happy reading. Bye.